education, free food, free housing, free clothing, etc. And only the officers have guns, nobody else. But that's a place called prison or called jail. Sheriff Joe Arpaio's jailhouse. Well, on Saturday, July the 26th, this is a demonstration. Ramona of the main cast. stage where Wiley Drake sang. Ramona, California. Judge Joe Arpaio will be there for you to bring your questions and to bring your comments. Ramona Teed is a nonpartisan pro constitution citizens action group in the heart of San Diego County, and part of the this Common is a Sense Resistance. Visit online at RamonaTeed.com. Join me in Ramona, ladies and gentlemen. Meet me there in Ramona. Be a part of history. Sheriff Joe Arpaio will be there. The chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference will be there. The former second vice this president, is a demonstration of I mean the cast. former vice presidential candidate, will be there. The chaplain for the Minuteman will be there. The chaplain for Operation American Spring will be there. The chaplain for a lot of other organizations, such as Oath Keepers, will be there. And other titles that I could give you of people that will be there. But this one fellow lines up under all cast. those titles. That's my job. I'm a chaplain. I'm a pastor. And I'm the great-grandfather of Mason Kendall Alders. And I'll be there on the main stage in Ramona. A guy trying to be funny one time, we were in a little cowboy town, and he said, Wiley, you ought to be on the stage. And I said, well, thank you. This he said, and there's one leaving in five minutes. Cast. <laughs> but anyway, enough of my silliness. Two very important days, actually three this week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, we'll be in Murrieta. Friday, we'll be in Ramona, California. And Saturday, we'll be in Ramona with Sheriff Joe Arpaio and the Ramona Teed Group. This is a demonstration Some of you folks out there listening, cast. if you know anybody at Ramona Teed, have them give me a call. I'm going to call one, though, first, before I were waiting for that call. We're going to, uh, we're going to call somebody uh, down in uh, Murrieta Hot Springs. And her name is Diane. And I told her a while ago I wanted her to come on television with me. And she's putting on her makeup. No, I'm only kidding. This is a demonstration uh, of Wirecast. She's only going to be on uh, audio. But I'm going to see if I can get her now. I hope it's been 10 minutes. If it hasn't, I'll apologize. Always better to ask for forgiveness and permission. So uh, I, that's how I operate, folks. Hello? Hello, Diane. Yes. This is okay. Pat. You're live on the air with me on the Wiley Drake Show. And I've already been talking about a couple of trips that I'm going to make. And I'm going to make a three-day trip uh, ending up in uh, Ramona. But my first leg of the journey is Murrieta Hot Springs Border Patrol Station. Tell us what's going on there tomorrow. We, things have kind of gotten really strange. Um, the people I talked to at the station didn't pass the word. We're going to still do something anyway, but we're supposed to have an appreciation day for them tomorrow. Okay. Um, I made that the call I was on when you case. first called me. Okay. Um, even Chief Davenport was excited about having this, and so we're trying to straighten it out, but we are
are going to have vacation day. Um, well, ladies tomorrow. and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you, you've heard Diane Seraphin. Did I pronounce your name right? Yes, you did. Diane, tell us where you live and what your involvement has been in this Murrieta Border Patrol Appreciation Day. I'm a resident of Murrieta, and we caught wind July, June 5th that they were going to be bringing in um, the people crossing the borders illegally to Murrieta Border Station. Um, the first two, one was going to be 500. The next week they were going to bring 300 people. Uh, Congressman Calvert and Hunter successfully stopped it, and then three days later, we heard there was going to be 140 brought in, and we got out there and started rallying to support the Border test. Patrol and try to stop the buses. I never thought that people would get in front of the buses, but they did, and we successfully turned it around. Um, then they tried to bring another bus in. And it got halfway up here, and because there were so many people, they just turned it around. And the border station has holding cells. It's like being in a temporary jail to be transferred. Yeah. Uh, people would be eating and sleeping this by the toilets. This was not right. Um, and they need to take care of the children medically and send them all back home because they're going to expose our children to some of these real strange diseases. Yes. Well, so. Diane, Diane, let me tell you something in reference to that, and then we'll talk further more about Murrieta and, and you and your folks there. But uh, I'm about 60 miles north of you, and for the last 25 years I have run a shelter at our church, this our local is church, of we take in homeless people, people that have no place to sleep, or people that are sleeping in their cars, and we take in homeless people into our church. But there's two requirements that we have. First of all, they must be legal. They must not be outlaws, illegal aliens, or drug pushers, or hookers, or anything else. Uh, they must be legal if we take them in. And secondly, this is even if they're legal, uh, if they have any kind of illnesses, we screen them and we make sure that they're not going to contaminate what we call the general population. And we do that as a church. How I, much, that, how much more awesome. should we as a country do it? That's what we should be doing. We've already had agents get um, scabies and tuberculosis and down in Marietta area of the southwest Riverside. We've got an extreme case of hand, foot, and mouth disease going on. Um, we did find out the they were bringing in people for the last eight months in small quantities and just releasing them. Mm -hmm. So that's where the hand, foot, and mouth disease is going on. And the younger and the older people really get it bad. So we need to screen them, yes. Well, that, that's exactly why a lot of people say, well, golly, you people down there in that little bedroom community, this you're not humanitarian and you don't cast. love people. Nothing could be farther from the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I've been in that community not only during this event but many times before. In fact, my wife and I used to go uh, to the hot springs there in Murrieta uh, when we would go on vacation, and then we would go on down to Ramona to vacation. So it's a beautiful, beautiful area, gorgeous people, godly people. But, folks, they're no nonsense. They simply That's said to the government, we don't want to be outlaws, but we're not going to let you contaminate our children. We're not going to let you contaminate our neighborhood with these refugees that are illegal and very, very sick. We know for a fact that there's more than a half a dozen Border Patrol agents on furlough right now because they have polio. We thought polio went out. Some of them have tuberculosis. We this thought we had beat tuberculosis. Of Some of them have scabies. Most of you listening to me right now don't have the slightest idea what scabies is, and it's because we've cured it in this country. 
but it's rampant in others where these people are coming from. And syphilis and gonorrhea and on and on and on it goes. This hoof and mouth disease uh, thing that's going on. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this is a case where we must protect our family. This is a demonstration of And we must protect our nation and we must protect our border. That's exactly why on Saturday, after I'm down in Murrieta on, Friday, on the Thursday, I'm going on down to Ramona uh, to be down there on Saturday with Sheriff Joe Arpaio from Arizona. And uh, so, Diane, if our yeah. friends anywhere near the area, if they want to drive down or come down, this tell them where it's cast. located. Where is the appreciation party? It, it's on Madison Avenue. Um, I don't have the exact address. Madison and Marietta Hot Springs is the major cross street, and you'll see a Walmart. And you go down past Walmart on Madison, and you can't miss it. It's all open fields, and you'll see a, a preschool, and the border station is right next door. Ladies and gentlemen, I went down there the other day, and let me tell you how I got there. I went down Interstate 15 until I got to the exit for Murrieta Hot Springs. I turned right on that, which was headed west. And I went just a short distance to Madison Avenue and turned left or south on Madison Avenue, and I went to 25762. Just before I got to 25762, I saw a beautiful, gorgeous Lutheran. Now, I'm Baptist, but I love the Lutherans. I saw a beautiful Lutheran child care center, daycare center, whatever you want to call it. And it's right there by the Border Patrol. And here, uh, these people, ladies and gentlemen, Diane Serafin and others, when they stood in front of those buses, I want to tell you something, Lutheran workers there. When those people stood in front of those buses, they were protecting mm. your children this because those buses were going to dump cast. off contaminated people right there by your preschool and my daughter works with preschools and and uh, I almost hesitate sometimes to visit a preschool because I'm an old man and I you know I don't want to catch all the colds and all the runny noses and everything the little kids got so I hesitate and I have prayer before I go in but ladies and gentlemen here if these children uh, would have been exposed to all these other diseases, it would have literally been a matter of life and death. So you may call the Murrieta folk a little radical, but it wasn't, folks, a political thing. It was a matter of life and death. Those people, those men, those women standing in front of that bus that said, no, you can't come in here, they were protecting the lives of those children at that Lutheran school as well as the other schools and the homes in that area. So it was a matter of this life and death. So, Diane, tomorrow cast. at 3 o'clock, uh, 25762 Madison Avenue in Murrieta Hot Springs is where we're going to have an appreciation day for the Border Patrol. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about why you're doing that. Why honor the Border Patrol? Um, well, besides the past three, three weeks where they've been put under so much pressure and stress, the Border this Patrol agents catch a lot passed. of human trafficking and drug trafficking coming up the I-15 corridor. Mm -hmm. um, I was told they make like 1,500 arrests a week um, to stop that. We really, with this whole last three weeks, stopping the buses and, and actually telling the world this is wrong, human trafficking of children, exploitation, the diseases, um, they were under a lot of stress from the federal government this is a demonstration of to stop has. us from stopping it. Um, they were defending the Constitution too, and they have families, so they were put under a real bad situation. And we want to thank them for everything they do. Amen. They're
Amen. They're great people. And it's a job most of us wouldn't do. Amen. Yep. Amen. And, and many yep. of them have paid the dear price of contracting uh, diseases that they as Americans, would normally not be this exposed to. demonstration to. of wire exactly. Polio, tuberculosis, scabies, all those kind of things. Now, we all know that uh, we don't want to be paranoid, and we all know we can catch things, but my goodness, uh, we beat polio, we beat tuberculosis, and yet it's coming back now, not because we're smoking more or doping more, but because we're letting these people come into our country that are bringing the diseases from those those other countries. So my hat goes off to, first of all, Murrieta Hot Springs, and my hat goes off cast. also to the Border Patrol men and women who are doing their job. And I want to say to them, thank you, and I'm going to go down there tomorrow and say thank you to them, and we're going to be there. So ladies and gentlemen, two things. Number one, go down to Murrieta Hot Springs, 25762 Madison Avenue, right off the Interstate 15, quick to get there, short trip, go down, join us at 3 o'clock for this appreciation time. Meet Diane Serafin, come and meet Wiley Drake, and then we're going to take a little trip down to Ramona, just a little ways away, and we're going to be down there with Sheriff Joe Arpaio uh, at 626 Main Street, Ramona, California. And uh, Diane... It's a short drive from Murrieta Hot Springs, so I encourage you to come down and join us. Be on the show with us. I just might come down there. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, and send your friends. We'd love to have folks come. So th- Thursday, this folks, 3 o'clock, Murrieta Hot cast. Springs. Saturday, uh, Ramona, 626 Main Street. And by the way, I'm going to be doing the live Wiley Drake show live on location from Ramona, Friday at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And then on Saturday night, we'll be covering uh, Joe Arapayo uh, there at the Main Street stage. And then we'll also be interviewing him as he's this is a taken back to Wirecast. the great San Diego airport to go back to Arizona. So join us mm-hmm. Thursday in Murrieta Hot Springs with Diane Serafin. And join Wiley Drake there as well. And join Wiley Drake and Sheriff Joe Arpaio in Ramona on Saturday the 26th. God bless you, Diane. Anything else you'd share with our folks? Yeah. Pray for our agents and may God bless them too. Well, I will do that right now because this This television program is more than a TV program and a radio program. It is a prayer communications channel. And right now, as a Baptist minister, a Protestant pastor, I want to pray for all of our officers, especially the Border Patrol men and women who indeed protect our country. And I pray, Heavenly Father, for these men and these women. They're not paid nearly enough. Uh, but that's this a whole other subject we'll talk about another cast. time. But the bottom line is, folks, please agree with Pastor Drake. Please agree with me as the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. And please pray for the Border Patrol men and women who do their duty every day without much thanks and without much pay. Bless them, Lord, and use them as our prayer. Thank you for Diane this Serafin. Thank you for the Wirecast. other Diane Serafins all over Murrieta Hot Springs and Ramona and all of those folk that work together. Now, Diane, it's my understanding that from June the 5th, uh, there was uh, about, what, four different buses stopped? Um, yes. Yes, we stopped four. Three literally people got in front of, and the fourth one which was two days, 72 hours later, turned around halfway up from San Diego. Um, we had federal helicopters flying this over watching how big the crowd cast. was, and it just kept growing. Um, and literally, folks, they stopped bus number one, bus two number three. two, 
bus number three and bus number four said, hey, we ain't going there. <laughs> and so they virtually stopped the fourth bus as well. Diane Serafin, thank you. Thank you, you. You are a hero. You are a patriot. God bless you. And, Lord, I pray your richest blessing on Diane Serafin and all of her family of and all of her friends there in the Murrieta Hot Springs area. Bless you, my dear sister. Thank you so much. God bless you, too. God bless you. And tell anyone you know that's going on Thursday, I'll be doing another live show at 5 o'clock. And we'll have a totally different audience tonight at 5. And I would encourage you uh, to call back in at 5 o'clock and encourage your friends to call or call and give me a number and I'll this call them. A demonstration of Wirecast. Sounds wonderful. We'll be doing another live show at 5 o'clock. We'd love to have Diane Serafin back on with us. Thank you, my dear sister. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got about eight minutes left in this program. Uh, let me see what this is. Somebody calling? Let's see what this is. Well, that was Diane going off. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a demonstration let me try of one Wirecast. Other one before we go off. Another dear friend down in that area. is Carrie Johnson, and she sent me a text and said she was going to call me back, and I'm not sure when that is, but let me see if I can get her right now, and uh, we'll talk to her about this as well. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Carrie Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, from Temecula. She is a part of the Murrieta group. Hello, is this uh, Carrie? Yeah, why are you on? How are you? I'm fine. Listen, I just had Diana Serafin from Murrieta Hot Springs on with me, and uh, I told her when I hung up I was going to call Carrie. Have you got a couple of minutes? Wirecast. I do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another one of the heroes. We just had a hero from down at Murrieta Hot Springs, and one of the ladies that was on with us was Diane Serafin, and another one of those heroes is Carrie Johnson. Carrie, tell us who you are and where you live and what your involvement has been with the Murrieta situation. Yeah, my name is Carrie Johnson, and I've been a resident of Temecula on and off um, for more than 20 years. This and, of course, Temecula is right cast. adjacent to Murrieta. It's the town right next door. Um, so I raise my kids in, in the community there and in the school district. My business is actually in uh, Marietta, California. In fact, my office is just about a mile and a half from the site uh, where the Border Patrol Station is there where the protests have been going on. So now I've, I've been out of town for the last week, and I haven't uh, been there lately. I've been kind of following in the news and stuff what's going on. And I hear it's got a couple of events uh, scheduled for the future right there. So I'm um, I'm in North Korea right now. I'm coming home today and, uh, you know, kind of pick back up where I left off. But I have some family time scheduled. Mm -hmm. So looking for. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Are you still there? Okay. We're losing. We're losing Carrie. Carrie, are you there? We're, this is a Carrie? demonstration of Wirecast. We're losing Carrie. She must have went through a okay. bad bad spot. Are you there? I'm here, Wiley. Okay, listen. Um, I'll be doing a live show tonight at five o'clock, and I'd like okay. to have I'd like to have you call in and give us an update on the Murrieta thing. Uh, we uh, we know that tomorrow on Thursday there is a. Uh, Border Patrol Appreciation Day going on there at 3 o'clock, and I'll be down there for this that. Is a demonstration and then we're also Wirecast. going down on Saturday, Friday and Saturday, to Ramona to be with Sheriff Joe Arpaio uh, down in Ramona on Saturday. But uh, 
get back to town, and when you get back, give us a call sometime after 5 today, and we'll put you live on the air again and let you give us an update on Murrieta and Temecula. I, I will do that, and um, I'll probably I'll have better self-service there. I'm in the mountains right now. But I'll plan to meet you two tomorrow and hopefully be at the event this for sure show this weekend. So thank All right. you, and I'll talk to you this evening. Okay, very good. God bless you, and thank you. You too, Wiley. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Carrie Johnson. She lives in Temecula, has her business in Murrieta Hot Springs. Uh, those are two basic uh, bedroom communities. Both of those communities uh, have a great, great uh, warm spot in my heart. Uh, because my wife and I went many times to Temecula and Ramona. We would actually this go down to Oceanside and spend a week in Oceanside. And while we were in Oceanside, we would go to two or three places there. First of all, we would go uh, to uh, Murrieta Hot Springs, to the Hot Springs. Then we would go to Ramona and have fun there. And there's another place there that has apple pie, and I can't remember the name of it now, but uh, I'll have to try to find what, what that is. Uh, Julian, yes, this over in Julian, greatest apple test. pie in the world, not very far away. My wife and I went there as well, so we're, we're going to be in the Julian area as well. So I want to remind you, tomorrow, tomorrow, we will be in Murrieta, Hot Springs, live at 3 o'clock. Join us. Come and meet with us. And then meet with us on Friday there in Ramona. We'll do two live broadcasts from Ramona uh, there uh, from the hotel this or somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure out where to do it from. Cast. But on Saturday, we're going to be there with Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Go to the website, where's Obama's birth certificate.com. Where's Obama's birth certificate.com? And if you do that, you will be able to get a copy of the Sheriff's Posse's Sheriff Kit. And you'll be able to get the same investigative this data a demonstration that of I received and I participated in uh, back when we started the first birther situation. So join us. Murrieta Hot Springs tomorrow at 3 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 626 Main Street in Ramona, California, with Sheriff Joe Arpaio. May God bless you. May God help you. Remember, the theme for this program is do justice. That's why we're meeting this with the sheriff. Administration of do Wirecast. justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. We're going to title this program today, Doing Justice, Doing Justice. Thank you, Crusade Radio, for helping us do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. And thank you uh, to our other organizations as well. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And this we thank the Lord for all that of Wirecast. to join us here, folks. And uh, we know we have uh, the telephonic prayer line, that is the prayer communications channel, and we also have Crusade Radio on with us. It's time for us to go and say good day, God bless you, we'll see you back at 5.